Hey everyone, happy Friday. I hope you had a good week and I thought what I would do um, in this video, sorry, I can never get my camera right. I thought what I would do, I thought about doing, matter of fact, yesterday I went to do a vlog and my camera on my iPhone, it wouldn't, I didn't have enough space to be able to do a movie, it cut right off as soon as I started talking to you. And I was gonna ask you guys, I have lots of photos on my phone and of course they're already put on my computer but I like to be able to access them from my phone in case I want to text them to somebody or something like that or just look at them and I don't know is there a way that I can put those like John said he thought maybe I could put them in the iCloud or something and be able to access them and then free up some space on my phone because I actually don't even have enough space on my phone to update my iPhone and um, as soon as I can get a new iPhone I'm going to get the higher gigabytes or whatever it is <laughs> and um, so anyway that's why I didn't do a vlog yesterday so I thought today since I haven't been here all week I would kind of um, I'm not going to rush like I normally do I'm going to just if I think of something I want to tell you I'm just going to and if it turns out that I need to either one continue tomorrow or to split this in half I'll do that um John was off that whole week that we had snow and ice and so they are going to work some Saturdays to make up for their production and you know all that stuff so I would think that tomorrow I would have a chance to do that so that's what I might do if I don't get to, to show you something um but um okay first of all if you're wondering about my hair I took one for the team last night and I know we've all, well, a lot of us on Instagram have been wondering about this mousse. And that's another thing I wanted to say. Last week, I told you guys that I had gone on a Claire Marshall, Hey Claire marathon and watched a bunch of her videos. I found her, I think I initially found her winged eye eyeliner tutorial on Pinterest. And then I started watching her tutorials. And she lives in Los Angeles. And she was a MAC makeup artist, and now she's a freelance makeup artist, and she's real she successful at YouTube. She uses this to do her Beachy Wave tutorial. And I love Orbe products. I mean, they're hit and miss, but it's four hits to one miss. I mean, and the misses aren't that bad. It's just that it's such an expensive product, you really expect a lot out of it. So I stopped yesterday at the one salon that I know of that sells it and bought it. It's the Orbe Surf Comer Tussled Texture Mousse. And there's the name. And this can was $45. So, um, but you know, it'll last a long, long time. And I figured Brooke, Brooke has really long hair and a really cool hairstyle, so I figured she would like it too. Matter of fact, Brooke's hairstyle is a lot like Claire's and about the same length. And um, so, I bought this yesterday and I put on my Instagram that I was going to use it last night. And then after I did that, I was like, what was I thinking? I shouldn't have used that the night before of my video. But I decided I was going to, I watched her video again and I decided I was going to do it just like she did. And I think that is the first time that I have let my hair air dry. I mean, did not even get the hair dryer out and plug it in in years and years and years. I don't even, I really cannot even tell you the last time. And so I did that and it was weird. I don't like that feeling. I don't like the feeling of my hair just being kind of on me. So what I did is I brushed it out initially right out of the towel. I did not even let it sit in the towel very long because she said to put it on, I, she made some comment that made me think it needed to be pretty wet. So, I, and I didn't use as much as she said a golf ball size on each side because my hair isn't as long or thick as hers is. So, I did put my PMD, perfect, or PhD, perfect hair day on it because she, even she used a styling cream to keep it from frizzing. And then I put like a, almost a golf ball size I mean, on both sides, but I had a lot left on my hands and washed it off. So, not quite as much as she did. And I just scrunched it up and then I... Um, let it air dry and I did do the front pieces like she said where you take them and you just kind of Take these pieces and you just kind of twist them back like that which helps um, and I have as you can see naturally wavy hair so I knew that I was going to get some wave the the problem with my hair is 
irregular waves like some place some places will be real wavy and then some places won't usually these sides are real curly they didn't get as curly as I would have thought see how this one did so you can see I on purpose did not brush this out at all I brushed out my ends just so that I could put some oil on the ends because she did that and they needed it they were like you know sticking like crazy out um, but I pretty much left all of this so you could see. So the point I want to get across is it is kind of a crunchy mousse. It smells terrific. Um, the jury's still out. Um, of course, if my hair, I was just hating that I had taken my extensions out last night because I was like, oh my gosh, this would have looked great with my extensions in. So I think that's the key. I think if you have a lot of hair and it's long and like Claire's and I saw Melissa lipped a nude on Instagram she had gotten it like hair like hers then I think it would be great but if you have hair like mine that's cut in see how my hair is cut in layers um, it's you're probably gonna get this look where it's more it I mean, it is beachy I mean I guess it is so and I kind of like it because it's very casual but I tell you, it did make me feel today, like when I was trying to pick out what to wear, I did not, nothing in me wanted to put on a dress or really dress up. Sorry, it really I got made up. Me, <laughs> but it really made me want to be casual, you know, and have that casual look. So, like I didn't, I had started out to put on like a whole lip combo and I was like, no, I just feel like putting on gloss. And um, so that's my first impression of this. Let's see how many ounces it is. Doo, doo, doo. I don't know if it's going to say right here where I can read it. Um, oh, it's 1.75 or 175 milliliter, 5.7 ounces. And it is, I will say, it's sticky. It's a heavy duty mousse. So I think if you have thin, fine hair, my hair is pretty just medium, medium um, thickness and medium, you know, hair. You know, but if you had thin hair, I don't know if this would be the thing. I think you would probably enjoy more the Shuyamir Ample Angora. That is a mousse that's really soft. So maybe I'll try the Ample Angora with the same, the same, and I'll let it dry naturally and see what it does. Because when I finished putting this on my hair, a lot of times I will, you know, wash my hands or whatever. But I think last night, by the time I finished working it through my hair and everything, you know how you'll wipe your hands on the wet towel that you just took your hair out of? Especially when I'm wearing one of those Turby twists because they're real wet and they're microfiber. So I went to just wipe my hands real quick on that and I can remember them feeling still kind of sticky. So this is a pretty heavy duty okay, mousse. Enough said um, about that. Probably way too much said about that. Okay, then let's see. Oh gosh, I've got so much. I've got so much stuff here, but let me tell you about the surprise gift, show it to you. Valentine's gift that I got this week from one of my subscribers and friends on here, B. And thank you so much, B. She sent me a surprise package, and there's one more thing that hasn't gotten here yet. On the receipt, it said it was going to be shipped in a separate box. And she sent me this for Valentine's, and I love it. It is a Rachel Roy, yeah, Rachel Roy medium like a tank but it's one of those cool flowy ones with the heart like kind of made out of feathers this is beautiful and B I love this so much it I don't know if you guys can tell but it is so soft it is just so nice feeling and I wanted some stuff like this matter of fact I placed an order this week with a new t-shirt place and I won't get the order in until next week so I'll show you those next week but um, um, so anyway I put an order in for some t-shirts and I have decided that's what I love and I'm sorry if you get tired of me seeing me wear it but that is just my favorite thing it's just tank tops nice graphic tees I like them to be soft you know I like the different sometimes I like fitted most of the time I like fitted and then where they kind of flare out and um, so this is just perfect B I love it love it love it this would look so good with um like gosh like any jeans and like a long sweater or just in the summer I just love that so and she got it at Macy's and let me see if I can it's a size medium it's called I heart you ivory oh I love that so I think you guys if you like this at all you should get it because it just the feel of it is worth it oh, this is from B 
Happy Valentine's Day to a wonderful woman. May your heart always be filled with love. I thought of you when I saw these. Love, B. Oh, that was so sweet, B. And a little side note. Today, February 7th, is mine and John's 15th wedding anniversary. And um, just, I just feel so blessed to have him in my life. I just feel like... I don't know, I just feel like I wouldn't be me without him. I mean, I just cannot imagine, it's, I mean, it sounds so trite to say, I can't imagine my life without him, but I just wish for all of you, many of you have wonderful husbands and that there's just nothing I'd rather hear. And if there's any of you young girls out there, just don't settle. Don't settle for someone who just doesn't make you feel just the best you've ever felt. and. Make sure you're with someone who makes you feel so safe. And that's what, if I could say one thing, that's the one thing that I knew he was the one. And we got engaged. I've got chills. We got engaged three months after we met. My aunt set us up on a blind date, and it was the third blind date she had set me up on. So I didn't give up. And um, I told my mom, I said, you know, he loves me like you do. And I had never, ever felt that from my first husband or from anybody I'd ever been with. I had always been, I always felt like I still kind of was attached to my parents, and I still do, but I always knew that they were there, and I always felt like I was still kind of living with them and just, I don't know, it's hard to explain. But when I met John, I just had that feeling that he is going to take care of me, emotionally, you know, it's just, it was just a good feeling, and I think he felt that way about me, too, and so I really, you know, want that for all of you, and, try, sorry to get sappy, <laughs> this is something else sappy, today is also, it's a coincidence that I would have done this, but I made my first video on our anniversary, I can remember we went, I think I took Will to a party, a birthday party that day, and then we had gone out to eat, and then I came home, and I was watching videos, and I just kind of made it without even, you know, wearing anything special or doing my hair special or anything. So today is also five years that I've been on YouTube, and I can honestly say the good far outweighs the bad, and I have grown so much as a person, and I feel like everything, every negative, every positive, every experience has made me a stronger person and has made me a better, I hate to say a better mom, but has given me a different perspective on my own insecurities and on my own self-confidence and um, on different things like you know, I don't know, just different emotions and different feelings and how to handle different things. And um, so I just feel like it's really been a good thing for me and it's been a blessing. And, um, so anyway, anyway, thank you so much for all of you. There are so many of you that have been with me since day one. I can just think of, the first person I can think of is Curly Nikki. I remember was one of my first people. Makeup galore. Lisa has been with me a long time. I mean, so many of you have been with me for years and years. And I think it's neat because you have seen me just grow. And you've seen me, I mean, since I've been on YouTube now, I've had my grandmother passed away. I don't know if you guys remember me going to see her in the nursing home. We would go, my mom went every day and I would usually go about once a week. And, you know, she passed away December was a year, and um, when I first started YouTube, I think it was like I'd been on there two years, my granddaddy passed away, and, you know, I've had cats pass away, and I've had a lot of, like, life changes and very emotional. I've gotten Bridget. I mean, if you go back in my videos, you can see the first day I brought Bridget home, and she'll be four in August, and, um, you know, just different things happen, and I don't always tell you about everything because... You know, some things just need to be kept, you know, somewhat private. And I don't, I want this to be a happy place. This isn't a place that we're going to discuss finance, you know, you know, some, I don't want it to be too heavy. But I do like that you guys know me. And um, I kind of depend on that because I'm kind of unscripted and I know I say things that offend people. And I feel like if you know my character, you know that I would never in a million years try to hurt anybody. And I'm getting emotional because I just, I was telling Brooke that the other day. I was telling her that just, you know, I cannot imagine 
doing something or saying something to another woman about anything that would hurt her feelings or make her feel any less about herself. And um, also that saying, you know, what Susie says about Sally says more, says more about Susie than it does about Sally. And that's something I've had to think of too. And um, just how gossip hurts and, um, you know, just different things. I've just learned a lot. So thank you so much. And I'll drop that. Another thing that I wanted to touch on is, I think it was last Saturday, we went to Costco and it was just crazy in there. I think, you know, our whole town had been cooped up with the snow. We're not used to that. We're used to hurricanes, but not snow. And um, so it was real crowded in there. And I am the kind of person that if I see somebody in a store, I'm not always going to get their attention and say hello. One, because I don't know if they'll remember me. And two, it's just, for some reason, that's just not in my personality. John does that. But um, I usually will say hello if they see me. And um, I guess I'm semi-shy when it comes to that way. I don't know if they want to take the time to talk to me. And, you know, just all that kind of stuff. But I saw a long time, it was a friend that I grew up across the street from her. It was her mom. And I had not seen her since I was, they moved I mean, I probably hadn't seen her since I was in probably junior high, but I was around her a lot as a child. I played with her daughter, and I just had the best memories of her, of her fixing us a snack and, you know, just being so kind to me all the time. And um, I saw her, I recognized her voice, and she was pushing the buggy, and she's probably about my mom's age. My mom is 62, and um, so she was pushing the buggy, and I think she said something to somebody, and I recognized her voice. And I was just drawn to her. And I walked up to her and I said, is your name Irma is her name? And she said, yes. And she, I said, I'm Lisa. You know, I used to, I grew up across from the street from you. And oh, she hugged me, the biggest, tightest hug. And she looked at Brooke and I introduced her. And she said, your daughter, your mama and my daughter used to run through the neighborhood like a pack of dogs. <laughs> and she said, you know, she was talking about how much fun we had. And she just acted so happy to see me. I don't know why I'm so emotional today. I don't know what this is, but, um, and I just wanted to say, I was telling my mom that I saw her. She was so beautiful, and it's just something I wanted to get across to, a lot of times when I say stuff like this, I'm thinking of myself when I was, you know, in my 20s, and even earlier when you're in your high school years, and you're so insecure about that one little thing that you don't like about yourself, um, you know, different things like that, is just her smile and her brightness and her kind voice and her warmth made her so beautiful. I told my mom, I said, she was so pretty. And she said, well, she always was, you know, so pretty and so kind and, um, you know, warm. And I just, you know, just wanted to mention that, how, you know, that just, just a smile and um, a hug and just that tenderness is just so pretty. And um, so I don't know why, I, I guess I'm emotional anyway, today for some another, reason. <laughs> like I told you, I'm gonna tell you about any videos that I see that are really good. And I saw this video probably two or three, three weeks ago and it was so good. Matter of fact, I wanna get Brooke to watch it. But it was from Marlena, Makeup Geek. And I've watched her since before I made videos. My favorites before I made videos were Marlena, Makeup Geek, Makeup by Tiffany D, Tiffany, and Lorraine, um, the, cu the current custom, Lorraine. And I still will watch some of Lorraine's old, old videos because I just loved her dresses and stuff like that. And um, I had never tried any YSL makeup until Lorraine. And so those are, and I still watch all three of those girls. And um, makeup, Marlena has gone through life transitions while she's been on YouTube like I have. And she did a video on um, just her insecurities. I can't remember what it was titled, but it was telling, it was different ways that she helps her self-confidence and just different things. And she just had some really wise words and I just thought it was a real good video. So I'll put the link to that down below too. 
Okay, let's move along. Okay, another person that I've watched for a long time, we did a swap, and Giada, you did so, you were so sweet to me and did so good picking out stuff for me, but she heard me say that I did not have the Chanel eyelash curler, that I had kind of missed the boat on that. So she messaged me and we did a swap. I swapped her the big, that Becca brush, I think it was called the one, the one brush you'll need or whatever. Um, for this, which is the Chanel Eyelash Curler, and I haven't used it yet because I have had everything out here to show you. And then she sent me a bunch of these really cool, um, they are, what is the brand? Yves Rocher is probably how they're, somewhat how they're pronounced. And they're different pigments. And I even love, Brooke and I were looking at this one, I love how the um, top is, how it's got just like a little thing so they don't fly all out. And um, so I love those. And then she sent me a couple of Berry M pigments, which I haven't had any of these in so long. This goes back to my beginning YouTube days when I used to swap for a lot of Berry M products. But these are both really good ones. Number 53 and 51. Both really good colors, like we like. And then this little cream shadow is called Creamy, Creamy Push um, Metallic Eyeshadow and um, limited edition, let's see if it has a name on it, it's 03, and um, that is so pretty. And then some other pigments and some samples, but best of all, she sent me the sweetest card, and where is it? I wanna read, it was really, it was such a sweet card, and it was, it was neat because, to me, Giada is so, she's very sophisticated, she lives in Italy, and she's very strong. I get a very strong perception of her. And this card was so tender and sweet. And I won't read the whole thing, 